Hello world, this is Random Fix. Today I'm gonna to be t uh, giving you a quick overview of how to buy a vehicle uh, that's out of the area or you're buying it off eBay or one of these online sites and you don't wanna go there and waste time. So I buy cars for 18 years uh, as a car buyer for a dealership. So I bought cars all over the country and sometimes I would fly down and just pick the car up and drive back. If it was in Southern California, if I was in Texas, I would try to uh, get the seller to meet with me, put it on a truck, and just transport it back. So I have a little bit of experience doing this. So uh, now you, you've located this vehicle, and you want to make sure you're not getting it dead, right? And, you, and I know all these companies tell you you have built-in protections from, you know, uh, if it doesn't match or the description and you can go through all that that's 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 great I personally don't want to go through that I know people that have had horrible experiences with that and this is what has worked for me over the years and uh, never backfired uh, so once I f figure out which car I want I've located it I got a bit on it to let the person know that I'm serious I'm gonna reach out to them when I reach out to them, I'm going to tell them that I'm interested because I'm highly interested in purchasing this vehicle. And it's just a matter of condition matching uh, what they've advertised, right? So what I'm going to ask now for them to do is to see if they can send me some a, additional pictures, right? A very specific components that I want, right? Like the VIN plate, right? Uh, maybe whatever's important to you. You want a penny sticking out of the tire? Ask for it, right? And number two, I want to ask them to make me a video. I don't want to FaceTime this, and I don't want a live video feed. I want them to record the video and do a 360 of the vehicle, start the car up, right? And uh, make it a good five minute video where they show you the windows working, the, AC, the guy uh, tells you the AC is working, right? And he leaves the motor on and it doesn't overheat. So we're looking for all these uh, weird problems I can have and we want to weed out as many bad cars as possible so we don't waste time. Now you want to get this guy to upload this video to YouTube, email it to you, put it on his Dropbox, whatever. You want to get this video and you want to be able to review it uh, before you get on a plane or take a 10 hour drive down to wherever the car is located. So once you've done that, now uh, everything on the video checks out. You, you run an auto check if the service provides it. Run a Carfax as well. Save yourself the hassle. Run both of those. Now you're ready to get on a plane and you need a couple of tools. You, a, you need a paint meter. If you don't know what a paint meter is, I'll have a description to the paint meter at the end and also a video at the end of this. And B, you need an OBD2 scanner. The scanner tells you if the, the car, all the monitors are ready, if anybody's cleared the check engine light, right? And, uh, there's any pending codes so you want to find all this out uh, before you hand them over the cash or the cashier's check you want to know all this so um, now that you land there at the, at the location wherever you're you're going you get there you have your tools the seller picks you up you take an uber and you're there uh, go test drive the car start it up ask the seller not to warm up the car if possible and uh, drive the car for a good 15 to 30 minutes, right? Get to know the seller, find out why he's selling it, what replacement vehicle he bought. Make sure it all jives, right? So make sure that everything lines up with the story, what he told you over the phone. And you obviously have the video and all the things that he told you on the description, uh, you know, any damage, uh, however he, express the vehicle to be and now you're gonna go through the car right even though you guys might have agreed on the price over the uh, over the phone you're still gonna review the car and uh, write down if the car needs tires write down what it may cost you for tires right if I'm driving a, uh, a 2004 uh, Ford Mustang Cobra I'm gonna say hey these tires are gonna cost you 560 bucks uh, because I know that's how much they cost for a decent set of tires on a 0304 Terminator so 
now I'm gonna write all that up and uh, we had agreed to 20 grand over the phone I get there I find out there's another eighteen hundred and dollars worth of damage right so I say mr. seller you know I really like this car I brought the money down I have the cashier's check my bank is over here and the only thing is I have uh, a couple of items that, that I think I'm gonna have to address and fix to bring up to the condition that I thought the car was in right and it's not to, to diss the seller say anything bad about his car don't do that it never works right uh, and be very kind and honest and uh, if the car doesn't need anything do not make things up uh, if the car doesn't need anything and that guy was honest you pay him his money and walk away uh, and, uh, and knowing that you got the good deal out of it you dealt with somebody else honest there's plenty of deals I've paid somebody a hundred percent of the money and I even gave him a bonus on top of that just for giving me a great experience and picking me up at the airport I threw in a two, an extra 250 bucks right we took him out to lunch and we became buddies when you still uh, we're still friends till this day right uh, don't don't, uh, don't diss the car right just tell me your position and what you have to do to bring the car back to the condition it should be. And I think they appreciate that too. So tell them the $1,800 worth of damage and uh, and tell them that you can now you're able to pay eight, uh, 18200 $18, And uh, the seller will normally respond. Maybe they'll be very firm and say, no, I really need twenty grand, right? And just kind of, instead of saying no, just think about it for a second. The car might still be worth 20 grand, right? Um, and, uh, or he may shake your hand and you have a deal. Go to get him his cashier's check, right? Um, and be on your way. Um, but if he if he doesn't take your offer of 18.2 for the car, see if you find find the middle ground. The middle ground isn't, isn't, uh, meeting them halfway middle ground say well how about like 18.5 I, I really got to do this work you know I I, I don't want to do this uh, it doesn't really matter what I buy the car for right it's what I'm gonna be in the car after everything's said and done so uh, I, I think the seller really understands that and uh, and, this, uh, and they normally they're not offended by uh, by you asking for a uh, for a fair deal if they didn't tell you about the damage and so let me know what, what, what kind of experience you guys have had with buying cards on eBay or different portals uh, if you've been scammed it's pretty common um, and if you've uh, if you had good luck bad luck hit the subscribe button up here give it a thumbs up guys thanks for watching and I'll uh, I'll keep these videos coming and I'll include a lot more videos on how to inspect cars, what to look for, what are common tell, uh, telltale signs that the car has been abused, right? Uh, and uh, cars that you should stay away from. If you're not sure which cars are lemons, check out carcomplaints.com. I use it all the time and it just it weeds out the bad cars that I don't want uh, to drive and I didn't want to sell to... Uh, people just because I didn't want them to have that kind of experience and, and that would be reflected on me and have a great day